Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is a very exciting video that I have been so excited to sit down and film and we are gonna be trying the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So you've probably seen this all over. e.l.f. just dropped this, I guess like a week or so ago now and I'm so excited to test this out with you. Obviously it is supposed to be a dupe for the Flawless Filter. I adore the Flawless Filter, so I'm really excited to compare the two for you. If you are new, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe, and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I have nothing on my face, obviously, except my skincare, and we're going to be trying the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid filter today. I have four different shades because I, number one, I couldn't pick and then I figured I would buy a few of them and I could show you swatches of them at least so maybe that will help you pick a shade if you're unsure because I was honestly kind of unsure about what color I would want. So I'm sure you've seen this product all over social media already. It is $14. It comes in eight shades and it is a definite attempt at duping the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. If you are not new to my channel, you will know I am ride or die for the Flawless Filter, okay? I have four different shades depending on what I'm using or what I'm in the mood for, depending on if I have self tan on or whatever the case is, but I love this product. I have never found anything ever that I thought I could genuinely say compares to this. I know there are other products that people have said are similar at times. I personally have never found anything that comes close to this, but I have high hopes for the e.l.f. So I'm really excited to try it. Okay, I'm gonna try to swatch these on my arm. So you can kind of see them next to the shades in the Flawless Filter that I own. So I did get shade 2 in the e.l.f. Which is here. Okay. That's shade 2 in the e.l.f. So it's very yellow toned. Very, very warm. I also have shade 2 in the Flawless Filter. Okay. So you can see there's a pretty big difference in the shade two in the e.l.f. and two in Flawless Filter. Flawless Filter is a lot lighter, even though it doesn't matter a ton with this product because when you blend it out, it's very sheer, so it doesn't need to match exactly. Then we have shade three in e.l.f., shade three in Flawless Filter. So again, pretty big difference. That's the one thing I have noticed with e.l.f. is their shades are much more dark I guess is what I would say like they have more color to them initially then we have shade 4 in the elf which is a good bit darker and warmer than shade 3 in the flawless filter I have 4.5 okay so we have 4.5 in flawless filter and 4 in elf then i do have five in elf which is there so each one of the elf shades get a good bit darker whereas flawless filter i feel like the shades are a bit more gradual just based on the swatches so hopefully that helps you but again you'll see when we apply these on my face they are so sheer it really doesn't matter if the shade is perfect Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to do shade 3 for the demo. So I'm going to do e.l.f. on the left side, Charlotte Tilbury on the right side. So we'll go in with false filter over here, over here. I'm going to take a clean brush and just tap that in like I normally would. So there is the Flawless Filter in shade three 
on the right side. Now let's go in with the new one from e.l.f. in shade number three. So what I will say is this packaging is very luxe feeling. It is It does not feel cheap at all. I think e.l.f. nailed it 100% with the packaging. I love it with the pink lid, the doe foot. The doe foot is quite a bit larger than the flawless filter, but this is a glass bottle, which is really nice. When I first saw these pictures on Instagram, I initially thought, oh, I bet it's like a plastic bottle, but it's not. It's glass. It's nice. So we're going to go in the same places. So I'm going to do some here, here, here. I'm going to take a different brush that is clean with no product. All right, you guys. So again, we have Charlotte Tilbury on this side, Elf on this side, both in shade number three. You guys, I'm looking up close here. That is how you dupe a product, 100%. 100%. As soon as I blended this in and I looked in this mirror, I was like, oh yeah, they did it. And I do not say that lightly. I don't do a ton of dupe videos on YouTube just because I don't like how loosely the term dupe is used a lot of the times. I really have to truly enjoy every aspect of a product just as much as the original to call something a dupe. And obviously this is the first time I've used it. I haven't put makeup on over the top of it or anything, but based on the first time I used it, I think this is a definite winner. I think e.l.f. really nailed it with this. I also think the e.l.f. gives just a little bit more color. You don't necessarily get coverage with this product. I do think it slightly can even out your skin tone just a little bit, but you're not really getting coverage from it. But the one noticeable thing that the e.l.f. has that Charlotte Tilbury does as well is somehow it blurs your face slightly. And I've always thought that about Charlotte Tilbury. And I think about, I think the same thing of the e.l.f. It adds literally like a filtered look to your face, just like the Charlotte Tilbury is obviously called the Flawless Filter, and that's what it does. Not only does it add glow, but it slightly evens, it, it, it looks like it adds a beauty filter to your face, like on Instagram or TikTok or whatever. That's what it reminds me of, and I love it. As you know, I am a diehard fan of this product from Charlotte Tilbury, but I have to say, just based on this first look, I am very impressed. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup now and then I'll come back and we'll look again. I typically love to wear this under my concealer when I use this product. I love to use this and then use concealer as my base product and not use a foundation. So that's what I'm gonna do today and we'll see what it looks like once I've done that. So I will be back in just a few minutes. All right, before I finish up my makeup, I did put on a little bit of concealer. I wanted to use the darker shade, like I was saying earlier, as bronzer just to try it out. So this is shade number five. So I'm gonna try this out and we will see what we think. Kinda nervous, cause I have not done this before. So I'm just going to dot three little dots on and then I will use another brush. This is from the Morphe Ariel collection and blend this in. So we're going to be really, really glowy, but I really wanted to see how this would look as bronzer. So there it is, it blended in like almost instantly. Really pretty. 
I feel like shade four might even work as bronzer, so maybe we'll do shade four on the other side. This is going to be interesting. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to tap three little dots. We'll use a different brush for this also. So I'm just tapping this in. This is the Fenty 125 base brush. Okay, yeah. So I feel like four could also be used as a bronzer on my skin tone. Um, it's not quite, it's a little more golden and not quite as warm, I would say. The other one is a little bit, has a lot more yellow in it to me. I like both. I mean, honestly, there's not like a huge, huge difference between the two, but I like both. If you don't like a glowy bronzer, obviously, <laughs> you would not love this. Um, but if you do, I would recommend trying this. I'm going to add a little bit of shade four up here. Kind of reminds me of using my Dior Powder No Powder as a bronzer, but just in a liquid. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be back. All right, you guys, I'm done with my makeup and you guys, I'm so happy to say this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter is 100% in my opinion a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury and I, like I said, do not say that lightly. I very rarely say that things are dupes, but on my face, they're identical. They're identical. I mean, my skin looks fantastic in my opinion on both sides and I have all this other products on my face are on both sides obviously. Um, I used my absolute favorite NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer on my face as the base and under my eyes, and it looks fantastic. Fantastic. So this 100% gets my stamp of approval. I think e.l.f. killed it with this one. e.l.f. just in general just impresses me. At the drugstore, not only are they affordable, but their products are good. They consistently come out with good things, and they really nailed it with this one. So I am 100% so excited about these. The biggest difference to me between the two is just the shade range. You get 12 with Charlotte Tilbury, you get 8 with e.l.f., and I feel like there's quite a big jump from each shade of the e.l.f. compared to Charlotte Tilbury. You get a little more of a gradual increase in color, but once you blend them out, it really doesn't make a huge difference because they are sheer products. So it depend it doesn't really make a difference if your shade is exactly your skin tone. It just needs to be kind of somewhere close. But other than that, they are so, so, so similar. I'm so excited that anybody that didn't want to spend the money on the Flawless Filter now has another option and... I love this. I love this so much. Again, I have shade three on my face, and then I have shade five as bronzer on this side, shade four as bronzer on this side, and they really look about the same. Shade five is a bit warmer, I would say, not quite as neutral, but you could definitely make it work, and I love them. I'm so excited about this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I think these are only available on elf.com right now. I do not think you can buy these anywhere else. At least I have not seen them. If I can find them online anywhere else, I will have everything linked below. I will also have the rest of the makeup I have on my face linked below as well if you are curious. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new, I hope you will subscribe and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.